All we're asking for is identification. I don't need to identify myself in the state of California. Are you done? Are, you Are we done? I ain't gonna answer any questions. No, you're not gonna ID to us. Blah, blah, blah. I am under no legal obligation to ID myself. Am I, am I being detained for a I just need your information. I just need you to provide me with your... I can't, I can't consent to that. The first vehicle code violation that he makes, we're there. Let's, let's stay with you. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's video features the Junkyard News. The video is over four years old, but is still a valuable interaction. Junkyard had received a message from a viewer that warned him of the tyrannical actions of law enforcement officers in Escondido near San Diego. Junkyard happened to be in the area and took quite a few pictures around the department headquarters. As he walked past the back gate, which is just down the street from the main entrance on a major thoroughfare, officer lockers of the Escondido Police Department pulls up. Can I help you with something? Yeah, why are you videotaping our, uh, our PD building? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? I don't answer questions. You have ID identification? Why well, do I need ID? I'm, this is America, right? Yeah, you need an ID. In the, in the state of California, you should be able to provide identification. <laughs> are you really that ignorant? You know California is not a stop and ID state, right? What reasonable suspicion of what crime do you have to stop me? I don't know if you're a terrorist. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a okay, story. Well maybe that should answer maybe all you, your questions. Maybe you would like to talk to me and be nice about it. I, you know, I don't know. We've had a lot of terrorist attacks in the United States. And <laughs> Dude, don't give me that. Okay. You know how many years we're post that whole 9/11? How many years has it been? It Count the matter. years. Count the years. It doesn't matter how many years it is. If tyranny and oppression come to this land, it'll be in the guise of fighting a foreign enemy. Okay. I, I, think about that. Think about that. Is, think why about are that. Videotaping the entrance to our. I'm an independent journalist okay. gathering content and footage for a story I'm working on, a vlog. You name it. All right. First Amendment protected activity. And, and other than that, I'm not going to answer any questions. Okay. Are, are you, you done? Are, you are we done? Or I ain't going to answer any questions. Okay. Then go and have a seat for me and tell me who you are. So you are detaining me. I'm going to detain you because I don't know if you're not. What going to reasonable, answer. articulable suspicion of what crime? The officer just said he is going to detain Junkyard. Aside from parking his vehicle in traffic and approaching him, this should be enough to constitute the officer's actions and words as a detainment. Whether it is legal is another issue. Junkyard has made it clear that he is there to film a perfectly legal activity. I would say that's more information than the officer needs to know. But Junkyard now refuses to answer more questions, and the officer tells him to sit until he figures out who he is. What facts can you articulate, if you wouldn't mind, I'll, I'll tone it down if you can just do me a favor and articulate any facts that I violated possibly any criminal statute. Uh, a criminal statute? Right now I'm investigating to find out why. What crime though? What, what criminal? What criminal statute do you think I violated to justify a detention? Do you have identification on your story? Can you please Who you? articulate? Who are you? I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a name? story. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. And in California, until I've been arrested for some crime other than failed to ID, I am under no legal obligation to ID myself until the point of arrest for something other than failure to ID. Are you familiar with PC 148 subsection G? Go ahead. Why don't you look it up? Or ask somebody to look it up. Okay. 148G. Just read that. That's all you need to know. My hands aren't in my pockets. That hand is in your pocket. PC 148 covers other offenses against public justice. Subsection A deals with resisting, delaying, and obstructing a peace officer. Subsection G states, The fact that a person takes a photograph or makes an audio or video recording of a public officer or peace officer while the officer is in a public place, or the person is taking the photograph or making the recordings is in a place he or she has the right to be in, does not constitute in and of itself a violation of subdivision A, nor does it constitute reasonable suspicion to detain the person or probable cause to arrest? At this point, without the ability to articulate suspicion of Junkyard's involvement in a criminal act, there is no grounds for detainment, but his movement has been halted, and the impression is that he was not free to go. Officer Sanat now arrives on scene. Nothing in there. Do I know that? I don't know that. Nothing in my pocket. Okay. I'm asking you to keep your hands out of your pocket. Would you mind grabbing the seat for me, please? Please sit down. 
I, re I prefer the stand. Well then, would you put that thing down that's a weapon? Oh, a camera's a weapon. If you're scared of a camera on a tripod, I have no problems yeah. setting it down. Don't mess with me, I'm gonna move it over here. All right, as long as it's pointed in my direction. Okay, let's just, let's direction. be reasonable. If you, you want to sit that down. direction. Okay, Please. cool. Got it. Thank you. Fine. So please sit down. Do not, comply. Do not comply for my safety and your safety. That's all. I would prefer to stay. Okay, well I'm asking Again, you to sit I down. Being for a crime? I'm asking you to sit down. Talk to my partner, but if he's talking to you. Am I, am I being detained for a crime? I just need your information. I just need you to provide me with your I can't I can't consent to that. Okay. What was he doing? He's videotaping the entrance of our police. Yeah, department. that's no bueno, boss. Come on. That's what no bueno. Crime do you suspect me? Would you sit down? In? And we'll talk to you. Can I stand? No, I'm asking you to sit down for your safety and my safety. Yeah. Okay. All I have is a camera. Will you sit down for us, please? I would prefer to stand. You're being very non compliant right now. Duly noted. Talk to my partner. Thank you. I have no ill will, aerial intent. Okay. I'm an independent journalist gathering content for Right, all we're asking for is identification. I don't need to identify myself in the state of California unless you have arrested me for something I'm other not, than you're not. failure to ID. Yeah. Junkyard tries once again to reason with the officers as one heads to his vehicle to retrieve his phone. Are you familiar with California 148G? California Penal Can you, can you? Penal Code. California Penal Code 148G. Okay. What's it say? So you don't want to talk to us? I've been detained. I want to know why I've been detained. I just came over here. Where's that officer going? He detained me. Am I free to go? I'm asking you why. You're kind of blocking my camera shot. You're not blocking mine. Why are you videotaping the front? I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story, a vlog. What else do I need to say? Well, then, what's your name and date of birth? I don't need to ID you in California. Hold on. I have no weapons. And unless I'm committing a crime, it is perfectly legal to mask myself. Got you anyway. It's okay. It and so make sure that's done? available for my public records are request. You done? You done? I'm no longer being detained? Am I on a public sidewalk? What? Did you detain him? I didn't detain him. Yes, you did. You said I was detained until you get my I ID. See. I said... I have it on camera. You want to go ahead and... You want to lie again? See ya. So you are detaining me. I'm going to detain you because I don't know if you're not... What reasonable, answer. articulable suspicion of what crime? All right, I'm going to go this way. Carry on, sir. Please don't block the sidewalk. You know that's against the law to block the sidewalk. Junkyard is released, and as he walks away, the officer tries to mute the recording, but the audio picks up this. The first vehicle code violation that he makes, we're there. Let's, let's stay with it. Although their policies say it's okay for them to mute, this is why they shouldn't be allowed to. The two officers are now conspiring to quote, get him, clearly in retaliation for taking pictures and video, a blatant violation of their oaths, and what should be an offense worthy of termination. Junkyard realizes he had never gotten the officer's names. He returns and the ego trip continues. Chase, I feel like filing, filing a complaint. Names and badge numbers, if you would. You Looks like provide, we got three. Where's, where's yours? J. Sinat and C. Is that lockers or lokers? Or uh, how do you, do you want pronounce a sergeant that? Sergeant out here. Hey, do you want a sergeant out here? Yeah, I would okay. like a sergeant. Would you? I don't want to sit down. I ain't gonna sit down. I'm free to walk around. He can find me. I ain't going anywhere. Well, do you like? Would you like to talk to him now? I would. Be more than happy to send him out. Okay. Would you do me a favor? Just stand back a little bit because that could be used as a weapon. I'm not gonna hurt you. Watch out, man. Just watch out for him. Well, you're trying to scare the public now. Eventually, a supervisor arrives on scene. Hey, boss, can we bring you up real quick? Just, hey, just wait for the two Oh, it's a free country. It's a free sidewalk. It's public. No worries. Again, I have no ill will or in, ill intent.
crystal. My only concern is Mr. Lokers or Lockers. Yeah. Well, actually, I have two concerns. One is after my interaction with him and this gentleman here, I came back because I forgot to ask for their employee or badge numbers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if it's actually uh, Escondido's policy. I haven't looked into the, your specific policy as far as identifying themselves to a member of the public on, you know, when they ask, but they refused. I got a smart ass comment, oh, you're not going to ID to us. Blah, blah, blah. They're public servants. I'm not. Okay. Again, California specifically made public photography from a sidewalk legal and yeah, in the statute right. made it not a reason to detain without more can is not justifiable action for detaining somebody and trying to demand ID and on several occasions this officer right here one he detained me later he lied to this gentleman when he was to, when, he, when he asked him I have it on camera he would not let me leave until I and you know I deed myself he literally said, yes, you are being detained until I can find out who you are, which is totally against the statute, 148 subsection G. I asked him if he's familiar with it. He tried to get me to quote it. He's a law enforcement officer. He, I, know that, I know he doesn't know every, it's impossible for everybody to know every code out there, but come on, that's an important one, especially if that's the call you're on, okay? And my issue is, is why I was detained when the statute specifically says, do not detain without more than just filming from a public space where somebody's allowed to be. We just want to make sure that there's no threat to our facilities because we have had attacks on law enforcement facilities all across the country, and that's our concern. Okay, we want to make sure everybody is, is you know, somebody doesn't have any nefarious reasons for doing it. Maybe they, if you want to, yeah. If you want to film from a public sidewalk, film all you want. Which I was doing. And what, but if we come up and talk to you about that and, and that's all you're doing, film all you want. You can stand at here I all explained day. to him I was an independent journalist gathering content for a story, for a vlog, mm -hmm. and I had no ill intent or ill will. Why do I need to comply with an order, an, an order that's you not lawful? Can you understand why our concern is a little bit elevated because you're concealing your face? I wasn't until he like tried this. to take a, until he tried to take a photograph. Okay. Then I wanted to keep my anonymity in public. Because we all know there's no expectation of privacy in public, correct? All right. I want to know why I was detained when the statute specifically says do not okay. detain. I can, I can take a look at that. If you if you want to further delve into that in an, in an official capacity, we can certainly do that. If you want to file... I want to file a complaint. Okay. If you want to go to the front lobby, you can ask them for the paperwork. You can fill it out. Can I do it online as well? Does, Escon does Escondido have that available online? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. I don't know that it's on our website. No, understandable. We absolutely, we absolutely have the forms at the front, uh, at the front office. Um, and as far as as far as identifying, I mean, name and badge number are easily identified. His is faded. I can't read his. I asked him if it was 362 or 382. 362. He would not respond. 362. What's the big deal about you know? Not specifically me, but the community at large. You work for the people, right? You work for the people. I'm part of the people. All I did was ask for your information. This is not a tutorial about who we work for. We understand that. Okay. Then wh what's you the big deal about giving me your correctly information? Three six two. You're good to go. The junkyard news went on to file a complaint on the officers, and the department thoroughly investigated themselves and found no wrongdoing, and the complaint was not sustained. As always, let me know in the comments what you think of this interaction, and be sure to head over to the junkyard news' channel. He has many other videos like this, and has lately featured law enforcement news stories that seem to be swept under the rug and never heard across the nation as they only air on their local news stations. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.